In this particular question, we are supposed to find out the minimum value of fx. Now the first thing that you should realize is that fx is mod of x minus 2 plus mod of x minus 2.5. Now instead of mod of 2.5 minus x, I have written it as x minus 2.5. Well, since it's a modulus, it's the absolute value that we are talking about. So it does not matter whether I write mod of p minus q or q minus p. It will essentially be the difference between those two terms, which means my function is mod of x minus 2 plus mod of x minus 2.5 plus mod of x minus 3.6. And whenever you have something like this and you're supposed to minimize the value, just mark these points on the number line. So suppose you had x minus a, x minus b, x minus c. You will mark those points on the number line. So I'm just randomly marking 2, 2.5 and 3.6. So marking them on a lumber line is essentially arranging them in an increasing order. The function will be minimum at the middle value. So this function will be minimum at x is equal to 2.5. Yes, it is that simple. And it is not just true for three values. Let's say if you had five values, let me have a function which is mod of x minus one plus mod of x minus three plus mod of x minus seven plus mod of x minus 9 plus mod of x minus 100 and you are asked to find out when will this function be minimum. You have an odd number of values, mark them out 1, 3, 7, 9 and 100. Odd number of values, all of them are mod of x minus a, x minus b, x minus c types. This will be minimum at x is equal to 7. So the given function is minimum at x is equal to 2.5 which means my answer is option B. Thank you.